Welcome back to the product that started it all for my channel. The 62cc 20 inch cut Salem Master chainsaw from Amazon. Hey, welcome back everybody. This is a one year revisit of the Salem Master Pro chainsaw purchased from Amazon. I wanted to do a revisit, tell everybody what I think after owning it for a year. Here is some footage over the course of the year, a couple videos of how it's been operating for me. haven't seen the original unboxing and review of this chainsaw I will have a link somewhere here or here at the end of this video with a link to my other reviews as well also while you're at it hit that subscribe button if this is helping you out and leave a like thanks <music> see it's been working great for me I have not had one issue with it aside from the chain stretching out which is normal during a break-in period for a chain in my original unboxing and review of this chainsaw I had mentioned that the chain seemed cheap I think I'm gonna recant that for an average person this chain doesn't seem very cheap I'm still using the same chain aside from it stretching out and wearing in it's working great if you sharpen it like you're supposed to I like to do a touch up sharpen on my chain every time I put a tank full of gas through it so I take three swipes per tooth and then I take the same swipes on the guides after a year of moderate use on a residential property I'm not experiencing any clutch slip any chain issues nothing like that the oiler is adjusted properly right out of the box at least it was for me I have ran probably five to six tanks of gas through this which is a lot of cutting for the residential area but as you can see I have a lot of woods around here it doesn't seem to be any louder than any other chainsaw I have actually found some replacement parts just by doing Google searches so my original review of my fear about finding parts isn't as high but again for the price that you pay for this if it lasts you five years I'd say you got your money out of it I thought it was a nice added touch too that it has a real engine air filter and that has not been getting clogged up it's doing its job great the air filter is located in the back of this box as you can see and it is very clean yet. I have not cleaned it out once. I haven't had any starting issues with it. It usually starts at the worst at the third pull, even at its longest periods of sitting. The only downfall that I've had so far with it, which I've had with pretty much every chainsaw I've ever owned, is when it does sit, the bar oil leaks out of it, creating a mess and wasting bar oil. Other than that, I've had no problems, and this is a solid chainsaw. All right, honestly, just kind of a quick one-year revisit on this chainsaw. Any additional questions, 
drop them below in the comments. I'll do the best to get back to you when I can, as fast as I can. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're revisiting to watch the one year revisit on this or any of my other content. My channel isn't just strictly reviews, although I find myself doing a lot of them lately. No big deal, I enjoy doing them and I hope you enjoy watching them. Hit that like button if this helped you out. All right, I hope to see you again. Until next time, I have lots of cool stuff planned for the future. Thanks.